What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield and ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a banger of a video today. We got ourselves a Tapu Koko with that Shuka Berry alongside with a Weakness Policy Tyranitar team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out on the channel. But if you guys haven't watched my last video, then you guys don't know we went 0-3 in our last upload, which is really rough. So hopefully in today's video, we can get rocking out and get some wins on this rank double ladder and make up for that last one but first pokemon starting off here we got storm drain gastron with the citrus berry ice beam earth power acid armor and recover i love this pokemon so much especially because of its storm drain ability but i would rather have scald over ice beam that's the only thing i probably would change about this gastron right next to it we got rotom heat electric fire type with a normal move set nothing too special here with this thing with overheat thunderbolt nasty plot and protect then behind my face game is a normal t-tar that absolutely rocks out such a good pokemon that's why it's been in the meta ever since this game has come out sandstream as its ability Weakness policy has this item, Rock Slide, Superpower, Lash Out, and Protect. We got Landorus, Choice Scarf over here with that Intimidate ability. Earthquake, Superpower, Rock Slide, and U Turn in order to swap out and get another Intimidate rolling. Tapu Koko, one of my favorite Tapus in the game. Definitely it's between Tapu Koko or Lele, even though like Finny's the best one. I just like both of them a lot better. This thing's got the Electro Surge, and like I said, the Shuka Berry for ground moves, Electro Web to slow down Pokemon, Dazzling Gleam for Fairy Stab, and Volt Switch in order to swap out and get rolling with that. Kartana is our final Pokemon right here. Very, very good physical attacker with that Beast Boost ability and that Assault Vest so it can eat up, but we just gotta watch out for fire Pokemon when it comes to Kartana because you guys know it absolutely just gets shredded on by any fire move. Things got Leaf Blade for stab, Smart Strike for stab, Sacred Sword for coverage, and Aerial Ace for coverage as well. Guys, you wanna try the team for yourself? Rental Coat is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on to that Ranked Double Ladder and try to get some wins with this team. First battle coming at you guys, and this guy's got a Reggie Draco team alongside with Metagross, Whimsicott, Tapu Fini, and Urshfu. And then he has the Dusk Ops as his final Pokemon, which can set a Trick Room, but I think it's there just a proc weakness policy. So we're definitely going to have to watch out for that one. Does it proc a Metagross weakness policy? I believe it does. I believe that's how it's going to be rolling out here. Um, who should I lead? Do I go Rotom? Rotom could be a solid lead here. We really Do we really need Stern Drain Gastron? I feel like we don't. I mean, Landers could be decent as well. But Metagross has clear body and kind of just counters up on that Urshfu with that Intimidate drop. Oh, who should I go? I kind of want to go our own, uh, our T-Tar. Did we go T-Tar here? Hmm. We go T-Tar into, I don't want something to counter up on that Wintergott, but then we can't really do that. We go T-Tar Rotom. I need to buzz him with that, which isn't a bad lead. What do we lead? Uh, Landorus, Choice Scarf into a U-Turn. Actually get that, get Rotom Heat in here. And then Coco or Cartana? I feel like Cartana does a does a bit more work here. Let's get Cartana up in here. Let's get it. I'm liking this. He doesn't have like any water Pokemon besides uh Besides Finny, who will probably come in there. But I feel like we'll be fine as long as we bring Cartana, so we really do not need Storm Dream. I just don't see it as that Finny being a big, big threat on the water side. Even though water does work on my uh my T Tar, my uh Rotom, and my Landers. But still we kinda want them to hit my T Tar with a water move. Consider more that weakness policy, we can proc that and get rolling from there. But who are you gonna lead? You gonna lead Dust Cops or he's gonna go Reggie Draco and Windshot? Okay, that's that's fair. Wish I kinda had like a fake out rolling here. But he's gonna set up Tailwind and that's that dragon move scary. The dragon move is scary. And what's called can potentially outspeed. Do I just Dynamax my boy? Hmm. Do I Dynamax here? We got the Sandstream rolling. Do I Dynamax my T-Tar? Because he's going to go for a Dragon Energy. That's a fact. And he's going to try to set up a Tailwind. That's pretty obvious. I could actually just drop this and go for a Knuckle into Reggie Draco. Start boosting my own attack stat. And then potentially just U-Turn it out. I kind of like that. U-Turn out, double up into the Reggie Draco slot. Hmm. Hmm. Let's get it. Let's get after it. And swap it into my Coco. I kind of like that. Here goes our Dynamax. Wouldn't Dynamax our big old T-Tar. Hopefully, they'll eventually send like a Moon Blast over on our side. That we can just eat up fine and pull from the Whimscott and trigger the weakness policy. Let's get this guy rolling. We're going to boost our attack first turn. So that's why we're going into that Max Knuckle. We want that attack boost for our, for our T-Tars. Trying to get him rolling here. And I wonder what he's going to do. He's got he's to gotta Tailwind into a Dragon Energy, right? That's got to be the play, right? He's got a Helping Hand. Okay. That's fair. That's fine by me. You turn Shogo before him then. We do not. Oh, he's gonna protect. Whoa. Whoa there. What kind of turn was that? What, wait, what was, what is that? You can't U-turn out. I'll definitely U-turn out next turn then. 
We're gonna knuckle drop here, get my attack boost. Doing a little bit of damage considering the protects through it. And there's no stab. But dude, what was that turn? Helping hand into a protect? Does that does that do anything? I don't think it does anything. I think he might have misclicked. He might have misclicked. But Buffett's gonna go all around by Reggie Draco and Wim Scott. I don't think Landers or T yeah. I know T Tar doesn't take it, but Landers doesn't take it as well. Ground typing. Um did we just start uh over in special defense? Not a bad play. I can just go for a rock ball, take out Wim Scott. Let's get Wimscott out of here, and I'm just gonna U-turn over onto the Reggie Draco slot. I think that's a fine play to make. I think that's a fine play to make because we can get Intimidate out here later. Helping hand again. This dude's nuts. This dude's this dude's crazy. What are you doing? Here goes our choice scarf. In effect, we're gonna get U-turn over here. Doing some damage on this thing. It is a plus one U-turn, so Dragon Energy would do less if he's going for it. I think that's what he he might have misclicked turn one. Oh, I don't have Coco. I thought for sure I had Coco. Dang it, dude. I really want Coco. <laughs> I guess we'll get Rotom Heat out here. Right? Rotom Heat's not a bad play. I don't want to get Kartan out here. I bet Kartan is saving for the back end. Same thing with Orlando. We'll get Rotom. Dang it, dude. I thought I brought Coco. <laughs> I really want him. And what are you going to go for? A Dragon Energy. That's not going to do too, too much here. It's fine. Rotom can eat pretty well. Rockfall's going to come out here. Should be able to take out Wimscott. And Wimscott didn't even set up a Tailwind or anything. We should be thriving pretty well here. Yeah. Wimscott gone. Love to see it. And now we still have one more turn in our Dynamax form. Which is huge, and we are plus one. Reggie Jericho is going to take Buffets. I might just protect my Rotom here instead of having to go down. But we do have those safety goggles, so we're not, they're not doing anything with the, uh, from the Sandstorm for my Rotom. I'm surprised Dragon Energy did that much. It's definitely choice spec, right? No, it's not. It's, it went from a Protect into a Dragon Energy. But that did a lot of damage considering it was already in the yellow because it is based off his HP. A lot of damage is based off his HP because I remember when I used my Reggie Draco team, I was choice spec. I was, it was Stab, and then he has the ability, what is it, Dragon Maul? That, that's why it's doing so much. I think it gives it another 1.5 times multiplier. But you can do an absolute poop ton of damage with that Dragon Energy. That's why I thought they were going to go into it. I thought he was going to Tailwind and try to roll out with that turn one. That's why I went to U-turn into the Coco slot. But again, I, I, I don't have Coco. <laughs> like, I thought I did. I don't know why I thought I did, but I thought I did. Metagross is going to pop here. Um, That's fine by me. He's clear-bodied, so uh, Intimidate isn't really going to do too, too much to it. I might definitely have to use my last move over on him, which will be a darkness. And then I think I just protect here. I can definitely see him guarding, you know. Actually, I see us eating this up, so I think I'd rather... I think I'd rather T-Bolt. I think I'd honestly rather T-Bolt into Reggie Draco. I don't want to uh, drop my special attack. Because Reggie Draco isn't going to be able to chaos, and then if we protect, maybe two Buffets can take out Reggie Draco alongside with the T-Bolt. Here comes the Dynamax. Should probably overheat it into that thing. But who's faster, Titar or Metagross? Who is faster? I don't know the speed. I don't know the speeds again. I gotta start learning them, but then I never do learn them. It's like in every video kind of thing. Like I'm wondering what the speeds are on some Pokemon. I think Metagross and Titar are fairly similar. But Ray Draco is gonna go for a Draco Meteor. And we avoid. We love to see it. So T-Bolt's gonna be fine here. I kind of like that play. There we go. Yeah, Buffett should be able to take that out no problem. Not very effective. Here goes Steel Spike into my T-Tar. Please be my T-Tar. T-Tar should be able to eat this up all day. Weakness policy triggered. We're plus three. If we take out Metagross, it's game. If we take out Metagross here, it's game. Actually, it should be game regardless. Because Vertom outspeeds it, and I get an overheat off. So, wonderful plays here. T-Tar was the right call to that Dynamax. And now we get this big old stab plus three attack on the Max Darkness. Get him out of my face. Do we dump on this thing? We should be able to. No, we don't. Yo, what you mean? What you mean? Dude, Metagross is an absolute beast. He's so good. He's so good. He is so good. Reggie Draco goes down. That's good. Are you kidding me? I get he was plus one on defense. But still, you're taking a plus three max darkness from a Tyranitar? That's nuts. That is nuts. I'm telling you, he is top tier Pokemon. That is, that is insane. He's in the game. Vinny comes out now. Which, Ro does Rotom outspeed Finny? Hmm. I could protect this turn. Again, I still have Kartana, and I have Lando, who is choice, which is huge. Hmm. Let me try to drop. Let me try to drop a Rock Slide. Try to lash out onto this thing. I really want Metagross gone, so I think, I think we double up in the Metagross slot.
I think we have to double up in the Metagross slot, right? Is T-Bolt gonna take it out? It should, it should. If it doesn't do that much damage, I'm gonna be sad. Let's see what happens here. T-Bolt comes out, take it out. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord! I thought it was gonna survive on like a hair, like one HP. I was gonna be so mad. All right, that's fine. We get rid of the Metagross. He poses a bigger threat than the Tapu Fini, because we have Kartana. Moonblast comes out here, that's fine. And you leave? Oh, hey, no Muddy Water. Not rocking Muddy Water? I like that. I like that a lot. He's not rocking Muddy Water, so. Or, or he didn't go for it, because that could have had a chance for a double KO. I think I just go Lando. Because if it's going to be his final Pokemon, and if we can get an Intimidate drop on it, that's fine. Or did we already take out three? We took out. We took out uh, Reggie Draco. We took out Metagross. And then he have one more. And we took out one guy. Yeah, it's a 3v1. We got this one in the bag, man. Got this in the bag. We got Levitate so we can EQ. No problem. Then I could just T-Bolt over here. Yo, GG. Let's go. This guy should cancel this one. And we get started on a on a good note. On a good note. Levitate comes out. Like I said in the beginning, I want, I want to make up for for yesterday's uh, video. That 0-3. So we're getting started off strong. T-Bolt should come out here and be able to clean it up. Stab, super effective. Finny, get out my face. I knew we didn't need Storm Drain Gash on. And we roll out there. And we start this video off 1-0. Let's get it. Let's keep winning here. We're hopping into our second battle. And this guy's team right here has two Pokemon that I haven't seen in forever, who I absolutely love. He's got the Mimikyu and the Gyarados. Like, I haven't seen them in so long. I actually miss Moxie Gyarados. That was so huge in a meta, like, a couple seasons ago. And I haven't seen it since uh, the Crown Tundra has released. Is it Crown Tundra? Yeah, Crown Tundra. The other one's Olive Armor. Yeah, since Crown Tundra has released, I haven't really seen Gyarados do too much. But definitely got to bring in Storm Drain, I think, for that reason. Actually, I don't know. Do we bring in... He has the Intimidate, which is, which is a little scary. I think we got to bring in our Intimidate as well because he has uh, multiple physical attackers. So I think we got, I think we definitely need Lando. I think Lando's a good lead. He might lead Galarian Moltres, and in that case, do I go Tyranitar? In that case, do I go Tyranitar? I think, I think Tyranitar has to be our Dynamax Pokemon. He dumps on Gyarados, Moltres, and Incineroar. But then we got to watch out for his Kartana, which is kind of scary, which, which means I got to bring my Rotom Heat. Then in the final spot, we get Cocoa Beans out here. I think Cocoa Beans takes the clearance. Yeah, Cocoa Bean rocks. I like it. I like it. I'm liking this. Let me think. Let me think. Because who is he probably going to lead? Definitely, he's got to lead a physical attacker, right? Unless he leads Ndidi and Molchez. But in that case, we can just drop a big rock on somebody. And he'll just probably just follow me that. But then I'll just U-turn out and get out a... Uh, Get out my boy uh, Coco, Electro Web, slow down everybody, do super effective damage on the Moltres. But again, I gotta watch out for the what's called. He has two Intimidate Pokemon, so that's kind of scary. If he double leads Intimidate, that'd be that'd be tough for us. He's gotta lead one Intimidate Pokemon, right? Indeed, and Mimikyu. Okay, I I'm liking that. So Mimikyu's gonna go minus one here, and I'm gonna just U-turn out, take off its. Uh... I don't think we Dynamax. I think we just take off that thing's disguise, with the U-turn, and we lash out. It's a fair play to make, right? I think that's a fair play to make for Jeans. He's definitely got another Intimidate Pokemon. I wouldn't be surprised to see it. I would not be surprised to see another Intimidate Pokemon. Because he has two. He has two. Unless Gyarados is Moxie, which I actually I think I would like a little bit more if Gyarados is Moxie. But Mimikyu could be that Life Orb mod on the scene. Here goes the Seeds. Okay, Defensive Boost is going to come out here. That's fine. I meant Special Defense, which is actually better. Actually better for us. I think I just drop a U-turn. We turn out. If we hit the Mimikyu, we just take off this guy's. Actually, I'm going to throw it over on the Mimikyu slot. And then I think I just lash out. Yep, that's the play. That is the play. I'm not going to Dynamax just yet. I'm, I'm going to save my Dynamax. Let's see, what are you going to do, kind sir? What are you going to do? I can see him going for like a play rough, trying to do some big damage on me. Over on my T-Star, which maybe I should have Dynamax. I can see him Dynamax and Mimikyu and going for a star fall over onto my Tyranitar. If that's the case, I see him eating it up, potentially. Follow me, he's gonna come out here. That's fair. We'll get a U-turn. We'll get pop in here. Here comes a U-turn. And then my Lash Out's gonna pop out of here as well. Well, Mimikyu's gonna outspeed. That's some big damage. What's called gonna go down here? Indeed, he's gonna drop, which is huge. And who do I get out here? Uh, somebody. You get it. I think we, I think we got post a threat with the Coco. Or no. Let's go Rotom. I kinda like Rotom. Let's we have the safety goggles. He rolls out here, and we don't show the Coco till later. Get my boy out here. Get my boy. Lash out. Oh, Mimikyu's slow. He's going for a Trick Room. He's going for a Trick Room. Okay, so he's Trick Rooming. I, I don't mind that. I don't mind the Trick Room coming out from the Mimikyu. I Dynamax Titar next turn. Which I kind of like. He Trick Rooms. 
That's what I was going to say. He totally outspeeds a T-Tar, and then it just clicked with me that he's going to send out a trick room. But now, what Pokemon is his super, super slow guy that he's going to roll out here in Dynamax with? That guy Dynamax T-Tar after this. He's an absolute beast. Absolutely love this dude. It's going to be Gyarados. It's going to be Gyarados. Which I kind of want Storm Drain for this, but at the same time... I do. I'm definitely Dynamax and Tyranitar. Actually, let's swap Rotom. Back into uh, Lando. That thing's Moxie. So we'll do that, and then we'll drop a big Max Rock Ball, which should be able to pick up the KO here. I kind of like that. Double Intimidate on that thing. That's huge. Okay, because they're both physical. So we'll drop them. Well, Mimikyu goes down to minus two. And then what's called goes down to minus one, which I really, really like. So Gyarados is Moxie, no Intimidate. I think that was a good play. And I think we're going to see a double Dynamax here from both of us. But that was weird. What's up with the Trick Room? What is up with the Trick Room? Like, you're not rolling a Trick Room team. I feel like that Mimikyu was only there to kind of counter up a Trick Room. Because Gyarados is rather fast, especially you Dynamax and roll Max Hairstream. Try to boost speed. And Mimikyu's fast as well. And DV's just there for support. And then, like, what, what was your slow mon? You didn't have any, like, really, really slow Pokemon. But in the Trick Room, Tyranitar is the slowest. He's going to Dynamax Gyarados here. Which is totally fine by me. Because I'm going to get off first hit. He's minus one already. And Mimikyu doesn't pose a threat at all because he's minus two. And I can, I might just U-turn out here again. I think next turn I U-turn with uh, Lando over, take off the Disguise, and roll out from there. And then potentially get off another Intimidate later in the match. Here goes my Rock Fall. Do we get the KO? That's the real question. We might. Maybe, maybe not. I hope so. My lord. Buffett's going to take it out. Buffett's will take that out. George Zan's setting up, so he's going to go. Okay. He's going to go back to normal. It's kind of smart. And then this thing's going to drop a geyser. Which I'm surprised he went to the geyser. He knows that. Oh, go after Lando. Yeah, that's fine. Goes after Lando. What's called slowest here? Oh, no. Buffets don't take out, man. Buffets don't take out. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I got to change the weather up again. Moxie boost it. Gyarados has got to go. This, uh, this may be Q's kind of... Kind of setting up here. I need somebody to double hit, right? I think I go Coco here. Right, we double hit. The Gyarados can take out him. Mm. Mm. I'm going to have to protect. I'm going to have to protect, change the weather out. I think I protect him. Change the weather. Hit on the... I could hit the Mimikyu. Hmm. Let's protect. I gotta protect you. I don't want him to stump it on me. And I think I'm just gonna actually drop a knuckle over on the Gyarados. He might protect the Gyarados, which would be smart. He might protect. That would be smart to protect the Gyarados. This one's gonna be good. This is gonna be a good battle. Don't protect the Gyarados. He does not. Okay, cool. We'll get the plus one on the T-Tar. That thing got a Sword Dance now. If it's Sword Dance again, I'm gonna be sad. I'll be real sad. As much as I want to change up the weather, I cannot. I'll change it up next turn. I want that attack boost right there. Alright, so you're gone. Man, dude, he changed up the weather on us. He, he should have been done with the buffet. And I wouldn't have to worry about it. And then Mimikyu is going to Swords Dance again. He is, uh... Hmm. He's scaring me, man. He's scaring me a lot. He's really scaring me here. Really, really scaring me. <laughs> I got a lot. He's gonna show final Pokemon. Hopefully, it's nobody faster than Titar. Because once Trick Room ends, this thing could be thriving. This Mimikyu. I'm really scared of it. I'm really scared of this Mimikyu. We let it set up too deep now, so now he's gotta go. He's gonna go Kartana. Rotom can cover that up a lot. And then we're rolling in Trick Room. So I have to double through onto uh... a yeah, double through here. Yeah, just gleam. Take off the skies. Do I knuckle though? I got a rock ball. Definitely start getting buffets. What's what I was gonna go first though? In that case, I might just drop this thing special defense. I'd rather do as much damage as I can. Do we gleam? I think gleam, yeah. I think gleam's our best bet. I'm a lower special defense. That's the play. Over on Mimikyu slot. 
E, dude, this is scaring me, man. This is scaring me. Darkness coming out here. He's probably gonna go for like a play left or something. I'm gonna take off the skies. But more importantly, we're gonna get that minus one. We're gonna get that minus one, baby. Special defense dropping for both these guys. And we have another special attacker in the back. The skies is popping. I want to get rid of that a while ago with the U-turn. I think I tried twice. I think I tried twice. Playoffs can come out. Did it miss? Oh! Oh! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Gleam comes out here. Big, big dodges there. Big dodges there. We're doing big damage with the Gleams. And if Trick Room ends, Coco is the fastest, and that should be game. If Trick Room ends, we should have this one in the bag. Unless this thing is Rocket Shadow Sneak. Trick Room does not end. I protect you. Now, Playoff takes us out. I, mm. I mean, wait a minute. How many turns left in Trick Room? I think I, I, think I might have to protect Coco. Yeah, let me protect Coco. Let me protect my boy Coco. I think we double protect here. Yeah, let's double protect. Double protect seems like the play. I'm surprised he didn't leak blade my T-Tar. I think he, he was counting on the what's called uh, popping off. The play rough just absolutely dumping on me. I'm gonna go for another play rough. Get out of my face. Block. I should have hit with my T-Tar. That was so dumb. I should have hit with my T-Tar. I thought he was shadow sneaking. I should have hit with my T-Tar. Do a bolt switch. And then I guess we'll superpower. One card time slot. I, did I Volt Switch or Gleam? I said Volt Switch. I'm hoping I Gleamed. I Gleamed. Okay, cool. That's exactly what I want to do. It protects. Take out somebody. Okay, we take out Cartana. That should be game. GG, baby. Woo! Let's get it, baby. Let's get it. That's going to be 2 0. Player off coming out here. And if we didn't dodge that first one, then we would have been sitting in trouble. I shouldn't have pre protected the T Tar there. I should have I never protected Tyranitar in that trick room. We had first turn priority. That one was a big mistake by me. Should have never done that. Should have just uh, hit a Pokemon, picked up the free KO. Like, this game should have been over already, but still, still protect, still works out fine for us. And we're going to end up going 2-0, which, uh, which I'm liking a lot. I'm liking a lot. Go for T-Bowl here. Finish this one off. He's probably going to cancel battle. He doesn't have no double-hitting moves. So one of us just have to connect here. Unless he connects, we miss, and he picks up two kills. Because Mimikyu outspeed both of us. No, he doesn't. He doesn't outspeed Coco. Man, get out of my face. He need a Shadow Sneak. He need a Shadow Sneak. GG. Let's get it. Final battle for this video, can your boy do it? Can he get the perfect record for a Jeans Online Gaming Community, baby? Looking for it for you guys. Like I said, I want to make up for last video. I feel like we already did that. Two wins, two and one is still good, but three and oh is perfect, and we're looking to do it. He's got Rillaboom, Incineroar, so two fake out mods right there. He's got Urshfu, Absolute Beast in the back end. Spectre is probably gonna be his life orb or weakness policy Dynamax Pokemon. Regilecki, probably choice, and then he has Clefairy for support. Again, we do not need Gastrodon, he has no water Pokemon. Get it out of my face. Um, who do I wanna bring? Coco, definitely. I definitely want Coco out here for that, uh, what's it called? For that Urshfu, and he's just fast in general. Um. Rotom Heat, yeah, we gotta get him. I think we got basically like same team last time. I gotta bring the T-Tar. I might lead the T-Tar. He intimidates. I want to intimidate as well. I think we go these two. I want Cartana though. That's really good, man. I love Cartana. He's really good. But I feel like just the Rotom and the Coco combo works a little bit better here. Hmm. hmm. Actually, no. I, I might want Cartana. I think I want Cartana over that. Over Coco. What do we just? I think we might drop off Rotom here. I don't see us needing Rotom as much as we need. Uh, so what, what's Rotom do? He kind of just counters up on the on the Rillaboom, but like we can do work up against the Rillaboom no problem. I, I feel like we're I feel like we're thriving. I think I think we'll be good. I think we'll be good without Rotom Heat here. It's like Electric, not doing too too much here. I, I wanted that uh, Coco because it's, it's speed, very very fast, and it can just absolutely dump on that Urshfu with one dash thing. Four times super effective. It's gonna be the Dark and it's because it's the Dark and Flame type. We'll just roll out with it. Who are you gonna lead? You're gonna lead Incineroar? No, he goes Clefairy. Fair. That's fair. Clefairy, Spectre. Um, he's gonna just start trying to boost and get more from there. We're gonna go Lando. I think I just U-turn out here. And I get, uh, Kartana. I might Dynamax Kartana. That might be play. That might be play. Protect T-Tar this turn. Protect T-Turn, or T-Tar, U-turn, and roll out from there. I don't like that. I kind of like that. I don't like that. Yeah, I kind of like that. Actually, I'd rather just throw it on the Spectre slot. Do a little bit of damage on him. Did I protect? We could Lash. 
for the lash, but then it's not very effective. So obviously the follow me is gonna come out here. So I am gonna protect. I want to get the Cartana to do some work on the Clefairy, and he is gonna Dynamax Clefairy. So these Pokemon are very very tough to play up against. Well, well from what I see or when I play, Glaciary and Spectre are very very hard to play up against. If you guys have any like tips or tricks on how to kind of like counter them up, let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear it. But I I feel like these two Pokemon are the Pokemon that I struggle with the most, and I feel like a lot of people do as well. Like they're not it's not an easy bunch to go up against. They're, they're, they're fast, they hit hard, they're bulky, they're just they're just good. They're just good all around. And I'm I was surprised that they were they were allowed in this uh in this uh what's it called? In this uh series. The good thing we U-turn over there, because now we can swap out. We'll get my Kartana rolling here. Kartana! Please don't go after Kartana. I really need him. I really need it. And I might just be uh, uh, Dyna Dynamax Kartana after this. And just Steel Spike, get a defensive boost, start Beast Boost. And we have the Soul Vest as well. And he might have Flare. This thing might have Flare. He's going to go for a Phantasm overall too. Hmm. Ah, oh, man. Man. I think it's a game. I think that's a game, dude! <laughs> Kartana just gets flattened. I, I could have sworn you're going after T-Tar. could have sworn. I could have sworn. Oh, that's rough news. That's rough news. Alright. Cocoa Beans. We have the Dynamax C Tar this turn. And get out Coco. We'll start slowing these guys down. We'll save Lando. But yeah, we got a Dynamax C Tar ASAP. Right now. Right now, baby. I'm gonna start slowing you boys down. We get the Electro Surge popping. I think I just start dropping rocks left and right. <laughs> just big rock slabs. No, not Dynamax U. Electro Web. Slowing you both down. And we're gonna start. I wanna go for Darkness. I cannot go for Darkness, though. I cannot go for Darkness. That is not allowed. The fairy's just being annoying. He's gonna go follow me. The fact, that's a fact, that's a fact. He protected that first turn. I should have dropped the rock on the Spectre side, but I'd rather get rid of this thing. I'd rather get a Max Darkness. But what is he gonna do this turn? If he follows me this turn, then I gotta stick with Rock. If he helping hands. Then I'm gonna go after it next turn. So I'm gonna just start Electro Web and slowing these people down. Hopefully, get them below T Tar speed. Which can be very, very nice. Just follow me, popping. Helping hand. Alright. That's fair. Let's slow you guys down. You outspeed Cocoa Beans? That's nutty. Huh? Leave me alone! Leave me alone! You outspeed Cocoa Beans? What you mean? This thing's cooking! This thing is flying! I didn't know it was fresh than Cocoa Beans! Jesus! Rockfall coming out of yeah, dude. This one, wrap it up. Wrap this one up. Wrap it up. Wrap it up! Only way we win here is... Mando can't even protect, man. <laughs> We're choicing to him. Only way we win here is if we proc our own weakness policy with an EQ. And... I don't know, but then we're choosing an EQ. But I feel like he takes out Lando this turn. So I, I say we just go for an EQ. I say we just go for an EQ. Rocker policy and get rid of uh and get rid of you. That's uh, this is our this is our final option here. And have T-Tar potentially just sweep out. But I just don't see it happen. I'm just gonna follow me this turn. What did I say? I knew it! EQ's doing big damage. He's doing big damage. <laughs> Especially to my teeth are, man. If he didn't follow me, that could have been huge. That could have been huge. Here comes the strike. Down goes Lando. Yeah, see you later, buddy. Thanks for coming. Thanks for hanging out. Is this thing even normal type? Just popping off. Speed's dropping, dude. This one's over with. It's over with. It's over with. Grim Nay is boosted, baby. His special attack is boosted. He's so good. So good. I needed that. I wanted that darkness over on the spectre. Imagine if that if that EQ took if that EQ took out, we had a shot. If that EQ took out Clefairy, we had a shot. Because then we would have been able to take out him right there. We would have had another Dynamax turn. And then it would have been a 2v1. Which was potentially winnable. But in this case, it's not like shot. Not a shot. He's gonna roll into Rillaboom, and yeah, not a shot even with Rillaboom. He's just gonna go into a grassy glide. Blech, I'm, I'm gone. I'm done. I'm done for. I'm done for, man. 
Yeah, so definitely let's uh, let's preserve our, our favorite little what is he? What is Tito? What is Tyranitar? Rock monster? I don't know what kind of animal is, but yeah, we, we gotta run this one. This one's over with. They both outspeed us. They're both gonna be able to hit hard. Spectre is plus three. Roboom's got Grassy Glide for big stab damage with the with the Grass Surge. We're gonna run this one, and we're gonna end up going two and one, which is actually really, really good for this team and this video. Awesome work by us to make up for that last video. We went 0 and 3 in the last video I uploaded, and 2 and 1 today, which I'm actually stoked for. But guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.